Hello and welcome back to this amazing channel. My name is Abhinav and I am an expert rated coder at Code Forces. In this particular video, we will discuss everything about what is Code Forces, how you can participate in contest at Code Forces, and how you can solve a problem of Code Forces. Before starting this video, guys, I will tell you Code Forces is the leading competitive programming platform in India. So when we apply for some opportunities, most of the companies see for a good problem solving skills. And if you are a good competitive programmer, if you have good rating on these uh, CP platforms, for example, Code Forces, Code Chef, then that adds a very good value in your resume, right? So in this video, mein, we will discuss everything about Code Forces, that what is Code Forces, how you can participate in contests, how you can submit a problem and how you can practice problems to get a good rating at Code Forces. So let's start the video. Okay, so let's start the video with the overview of Code Forces. Okay, so we will discuss first of all the proper go through of the platform, what Code Forces is and how, what are the, you know, features that codeforces.com provides. So if you will see the upper nav bar here, there are a lot of things that are mentioned. There's a home page. So this home page is actually a section which is an announcement section where all the announcement related to the upcoming contest, upcoming events are mentioned here. You will also get to know the next contest, the contest which is running also is mentioned here and the contest which is the upcoming is also mentioned here, right? Then you will have the section of your profile where you will have your rating and all of that. Then you will have the top rated coders at that time in code forces and top contributors of code forces. Contributor means someone who has posted some blog in code forces, someone who has set up a problem or hosted a contest and all of that, right? That is what is mentioned in the home page. This is a very basic thing. Next comes is the this page called top page. It again con consists some top recent blogs that are being posted by people. Next is a catalog page, right? So this catalog actually contains some basic advice. You can see it is also a collection of some blog, some good blogs that can help you a lot, you know, in let's say how you can come up with solutions, how you can practice on code force, how you can help. So these all are resources that are given to you by code forces, like how you can excel in competitive programming, right? These all are side part. Main part comes as the contest part. This is a paid a page called contest, which actually tells you about the the current contest or the upcoming contest at code forces so if you will see this is a page you will see here this is the currently current contest which is running okay you will see we can enter this contest okay and before entering we have to also register it without register you cannot enter a contest then there are some contests mentioned which are you know upcoming contests for example this contest code forces round div 4 is at 10 is on 10th may at 8 5 pm right so these are the upcoming contests Apart from that, you can also have the past contests, contests which are done in past. If you will see, these all the contests are mentioned, code forces around 943, 942, 942. These all are contests which are done at the past. And you can see I have participated in all, all of that. And it is also showing how many questions I have solved in the contest, right? Now, what is this div 1 and div 2? So guys, div 1 contest are the toughest contest. Okay, and this contest are for per person who is above the expert rating. Right. Next come the div four con div two contest. Div two contest are for the people who are above the uh, pupil rating, means specialist and expert. Okay. Then comes div three contest. Div three and div four contest are very beginner friendly contest, which everyone can participate. Okay. Everyone. So everyone can participate in any of these contests, but they are rated for these people only. So div one is rated for everyone actually. Div two is only rated for people which are less than or equal to expert and such these type of contests are there right amazing uh next is a gym gym as the name suggests what when we have to practice something so there are gym defined where you can you know participate you can enter and then you can solve problems in that gym right this is a perfect thing of practicing i will discuss more about practicing problems on code forces in the next uh, part of the video next is problem set this problem set contains all the problems that are being asked in code forces till now it contains a lot of problems you will see here a lot of problems are contained in this particular problems wala part right so you will see i have hidden the solved problems so solved problems are not uh, given here if i will remove the part you can see now this page will show all the problems of code forces and 
there are some problems that I have already solved. You can see it's green there, right? That's the next thing. Next is group. So code forces also allow you to you know part be a part of some groups. You can accept invitations. You can create a new group and all. And then contest. This contest shows in which contest you have taken part. You will see. Till now I have taken part in 108, 108 contest. It will tell you how many problems I solved, what is the rank in that contest. Then it will also tell about the rating change of that particular contest. Okay, so this was the particular overview of the code forces. Next is the profile section. You can visit your profile where you can get that how many people have added you as your friend. So you can see I have been made a friend by 2663 users. And who are my friend that also you can mention here. Then this is a whole graph that tells you about your rating change, how your rating is, you can see. I have started at July 2021, I rating, my rating got increased and increased and then there was a up, down, up, down, up, down, right. And then the great rating goes to this, this particular part, right. They also, this uh, heat map is there which is telling, okay, per day how many problems you are solving. So this all is, a, you know, provided by code forces, right. N let's not talk about the next portion which is actually how we can participate in contest. So as I told you that. There is actually a contest running, this one. You can enter that contest. Before entering, you have to actually register for this contest also. Otherwise, you cannot uh, participate. So what I will do, I will just register in this contest. And this is actually a different contest. It's a, uh, it's a practice contest actually, right? So there's not a much, uh, you know, it's not a real code forces round. It's a practice contest. So you can see it, it only contains one question, I guess. So this is how in a contest you can have one question or you can have more than one questions also. If you will see some past contests where I have participated, let's say this uh, this contest div 3. Here you can see there were this number, number of questions where I have solved the first five problems. Okay, now you can like if you want to submit a contest, a problem in a contest, you can simply go to the submit code uh, section. You can select the problem name, you can select the language of your choice, you can enter the code and then you can submit it. That's it. Okay, this is how you can submit a problem. Once the problem is submitted, you can check all your submissions here. That whether the submission is accepted, whether it is not accepted, that all is mentioned here. Okay, then we also have hacks. What is hack, guys? <clears throat> For example, if you can, if you, let's say if someone has submitted a solution. And if you feel that that's, that solution has passed all the test cases, but there can be a test case for which that submission is not working. For example, this was a user, okay. Uh, who has submitted this particular solution you can see this sort of solution now a particular hacker feels that this solution is not working for a particular test case which is this test case what it will do it will add this test case as you can see the the solution was giving wrong answer for this test case means this solution of this person is hacked by this user and he has hacked you can see multiple solutions so this is also uh, allowed in multiple contests right then standings are, standings are basically your rating, how many problems you have solved. It shows your rating at which, uh, like at which rank you are currently. So if you will see in this contest, I will see the rating. So how, so I have solved these three questions during the contest. So this was my rank. These were the people who have, have better ranks with me. So you can also check your ranks and on the basis of the rank actually, your rating got increased. Your rating got increased or decreased on the basis of the rank only, right? That is what happened in the contest at Code Forces, right? So this is how we discuss about how we can participate in a contest, how we can submit a problem in a contest. Next, we will discuss about how we can practice in Code Forces. That is the very important part, guys, because community programming is all about practice. More you will practice, more you will increase your rating of Code Forces, right? Before talking about practice, let me tell you guys also about Coding 75 Pro. So guys, we have recently launched this uh, pro subscription of Coding 75, where we are organizing multiple uh, like live classes of DSA, we organize weekly project sessions, we organize CP discussion classes, live discussion of all the code forces, code self so, uh, contest is held. And apart from that, a very important thing is that we also do provide one-to-one -one sessions like mock interviews, resume review, and mentorship session. So this all is a part of Coding 75. We have mentors from different companies like Google, Amazon, uh, JB Morgan, Adobe, Zeta, LinkedIn. We have mentors from these companies. And this all is at a cost of just 499 per month. So we have, a, we have a monthly subscription of 499 per month. We also have a yearly subscription. In yearly subscription, guys, we also provide a personalized preparation plan for next one year, right? But in the 
uh, in a monthly subscription of 499 per month you will get everything you will get access to our live day cp classes one to one mock interviews resume review so if you will see here once you will join this uh, pro subscription you will get access to our uh, classroom if you will click here this is a visit classroom section if you will visit this classroom you will get access to our classroom if you will see for now we are providing access to our pro classroom free to everyone for the first 10 days but after this you have to buy a pro subscription to access this classroom if you will see in this classroom you can access all the live classes so if you will see there are upcoming live classes like of recursion basic is scheduled for today at 8 pm we have code forces starters discussion we have operating system class we have code forces class we have next year's class so this is how we have dsa classes we have cp classes we have project building classes we have cs fundamental classes and all of that is mentioned here right apart from that guys you will also get recording for each and every class so if you will open a class once the class is done you will get a recording of that particular class and you will also get the notes the class notes that are being discussed in that particular class okay so this all is a part of coding center pro and very important we, we do also provide one to one personalized sessions like resume reviews there one one to one mandatory is there and mock interview is there for that obviously you have to buy a pro subscription so once you will click on this it will ask you to buy a pro subscription and once you will buy it it this feature will also be open for you and you can uh, you know book one to one sessions with me and mentors at coding 75 so guys this all is there at just the price of uh, 499 uh, uh, per month you can join that and in, in case you have any doubt regarding this subscription feel free to contact our uh, uh, whatsapp support i will share the link in the description also you can join our whatsapp group for the updates regarding coding 75 pro amazing guys now let's move forward to what we were discussing so now next part we will discuss about how you can practice problems on code forces right so guys for practice problem of code forces it's very simple you can just open the problem set here once you will open a problem set you will get all the problems that are currently present on code forces but obviously you cannot solve all the problems there are a lot of problems thousands of problems are present in code forces so what you can do first of all you have to see that what's your current difficulty for example for example that your current difficulty is let's say 1300 so means you have you want to increase your difficulty you have to go up to 1400 specialist 1500 expert to so always you have to solve problems of your difficulty plus 200 for example your difficult your current rating is 1300 so what you can do you can solve problems from 1300 to 1500 that's it and once you will reach 1500 and you can again solve problems of difficulty plus 200 so always you have to solve problems of difficulty from your rating 2 plus 200 between in this range you can go up to plus 300 also that's on you right so for example here let's say my difficulty is 1300 what i will do i will say i want questions from difficulty 1300 to let's say 1500 because obviously if you are of rating 1300 and you are solving problems of difficulty let's say 1000 it will not make any sense now you have to increase your difficulty so you have to solve problems more than your difficulty right so if i will apply this filter you will see all the problems which have rating between 1300 to 1500 are present here all that problems are present here and then what you can do you can just open a problem and solve it right apart from that you can also you know filter the problems on the basis of tax so if you will i will remove this tag part here now for every pro problem you will get the tag of this problem also okay that of for which tag this problem you know is basically solved so let me uh, yeah so you can also get access to the tags if you want you can add tag. let's say i am saying okay i want to solve problems of dynamic programming so I will just add the tag dp and I will apply. So you will see when I apply this, so all the problems of rating 1300 to 1500 which are having dp, which are of dp will be shown to you. So guys, this is how you can solve problems. The very, very, very best way how you can increase your rating at code forces is first of all, solve regular problems. So you have to solve regularly. You have to practice regularly. At least you have to practice four to five problems per day. That's the very first thing. Next, you have to participate in contest regularly. Please don't miss any contest. You have to participate in contest regularly. If you will see my graph now, if you will see the contest where I have participated, let me show you my graph. This was the contest, right? If you will see from last some days, if you have participated in each and every cons contest, in each and every contest I have participated, you can see not a single one is missed by me that also plays a very important role so solve regularly problems and participate in contests is also very important and next is up solve in contest 
अब सॉल्विंग इन कॉन्टेस्ट वेरी अब वॉट इज अब सॉल्व लेट्स इन कॉन्टेस्ट यू सॉल्व जस्ट थ्री टू फोर प्रॉब्लम्स लेट्स यू सॉल्व जस्ट थ्री टू और लेट्स यू सॉल्व थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स इन अ कॉन्टेस्ट लेट्स यू सॉल्व थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स इन अ कॉन्टेस्ट नाउ ऑब्वियसली इफ यू हैव टू इंक्रीज नंबर ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स यू हैव टू अप सॉल्व द फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम दैट वाई यू आर नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व द फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम मे बी यू वॉज नॉट एबल टू गेट द लॉजिक मे बी द टाइम वॉज नॉट देयर सो ऑलवेज सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम विच यू आर नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व इन द कॉन्टेस्ट मे बी फॉर दैट यू कैन वॉच अ वीडियो एडिटोरियल ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम ओके मे बी यू कैन डिस्कस विद योर फ्रेंड और वी ऑल्सो यू नो ऑर्गेनाइज लाइव कॉन्टेस्ट डिस्कशन इन कोडिंग सेवेंटी फाइव यू कैन ऑल्सो ज्वाइन दैट आफ्टर एवरी कॉन्टेस्ट यू कैन गेट ओके वाई आर वॉज नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व द फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यू नो इंक्रीज योर रेटिंग इन कोड फोर्सेज सो गाइज आई ट्राइड माई सेल्फ बेस्ट टू यू नो डिस्कस एवरी थिंग अबाउट वॉट कोड फोर्सेज इज स्टिल इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग कोड फोर्सेज feel free to add that to me in the comment section you can ask that to me you can also join the updates group of coding 75 to get every other update regarding live classes back coding 75 and do join it for live classes and one to one mentorship sessions also thank you for watching this particular video see you in the next video thank you